Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory. And in this video, we are going to talk about self-service password reset. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about the portal configuration for privileged identity management. Whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing the license requirement for self-service password reset. What is the AAD Connect setup requirement that you need that you enable to make self-service password reset work for your synced identities. And the last thing that we'll talk about will be self-service password reset and how exactly it works. Now let's start by knowing the license requirements since it is a premium feature offered by Azure Active Directory. So you need Azure AD Premium P1 license for this. But if your tenant has any of these screws available, you can assign them to the user and they will be able to reset the password. Now, the very fundamental reason behind this is that EMS as well as Microsoft M365, they already have Azure AD Premium added so that once these license is assigned to any of the user, they will get all the features available to any of the premium licenses. Now let's talk about what exactly self-service password reset is. In a nutshell, it's a very simple process wherein a user can reset their password on their own. For that, let's imagine a scenario wherein a user is able to access all of the application, be it on-prem application, be it Office 365 application, and he or she is also able to log into corporate machine. But for some reason, all the access has been gone and everywhere they're getting invalid username and password or your account is logged out or it simply requires a password reset now troubleshooting this aspect of identity has a very broader scope but as i said before let's narrow down this scope to either account is getting logged out or the user has forgot his password or it requires a password reset now, what does self-service password reset means that you are actually defining a process wherein a user can follow certain steps and they can get their account either unlocked or they can get their password reset. Now, this feature is available in Azure Active Directory for both the identities model, which is cloud identity and synced identity. Now, self-service password reset in Azure AD is actually a feature that you have to enable for all type of users. Now, in a nutshell, if I talk about self-service password reset for both the identity model, the very first fundamental is that for cloud identities, the setup is very simple because it's the Azure Active Directory itself, which is holding the user object. But the fact is that in synced identities, the objects are synced from on-prem to Azure Active Directory and you can either use password sync, pass-through or federated domain. Whatever is your requirement, you can implement any of these models. But the fact is that in cloud identity, user object as well as the password, everything exists in Azure Active Directory, wherein in synced identities, if you are using password sync, then you will be syncing the password. Now, if I talk about the setup required for cloud identity, it's very simple. All you have to do is you have to assign license, enable some of the options on portal, and then the user can register themselves to use self-service. But the scenario gets slightly changed when we talk about synced identities because we know that it's AAD Connect, which is syncing all the user objects as well as password to Azure Active Directory. Now think about this as a scenario wherein self-service password reset is a feature offered by Azure Active Directory. That means the request to reset the password will always be initiated by Azure Active Directory. And then the respective changes has to be written back to your local AD. So that's the reason why you need password write back to implement password reset for synced identities. This is one of the requirements that has to be enabled on AAD Connect. And then 
the password reset works for all kind of identities when i say all kind of identities i specifically mean federated domains and managed domains as well as both the identity model wherein you have federated identities as well as password hash or pass through authentication now some of the benefits of enabling password write back for synced users are the policies that you have defined on prem will get applied for every request wherein a user is trying to change the password so let's say i am a user and i'm trying to change a password but my org requires the password to be of certain character limits or special characters all those policies will get applied the second best part is it's a real time synchronous process now what do i mean by this that when i will try to reset my password the password will be written back at the same time to active directory and it's not only password reset if my account is logged out on prem i can actually unlock my account as a user from self service password reset portal as an admin you can also reset the password from portal for users and that will be written back to your active directory but the fact is that this feature is as of now only available with portal.azure.com if you try to reset any password for a user from office 365 portal which is portal.office.com that will not get completed the last and the most important part is that you don't need to open any inbound ports on your aad connect server because it's your AD Connect synchronization, which is constantly sending requests to Azure Active Directory to check if there is any request pending for update password on-prem. Now, I will be covering password write back in a lot more detail in another video. As of now, just understand some of the benefits that you will get if you will enable this feature for synced identities. Now, the entire process of self-service password reset is a three-step process. If any of these three steps is missing in your setup or in your enterprise, self-service password reset is not going to work. Now, let's focus on the first step that means that license assignment. The very first thing that you have to do to enable this feature is you have to make sure that all the users should have Azure AD Premium P1 license. Step number two, there are certain configuration that you have to do on portal.azure.com to enable this feature and to scope users to use this feature. Now, what do I mean by this? That you can enable this feature for a specific group or for your entire organization or for some set of users. Apart from that, what you also have to make sure that password write back is enabled on AAD Connect so that the synced identities the password can be written back to your local Active Directory. Step number three, wherein firstly, you will ask all your users to get registered for this service. Now, when I say get registered for this service, I specifically mean that if you understand this from a real time scenario, let's say I lost my access to my particular account. The very first thing, I don't know my username and password. Now to reset my username and password or to get my account unlocked, there must be something wherein I can prove my identity. So I can use uh, OTP on my mobile phone, I can use email or I can use Microsoft Authenticator app. It's just the identity verification process which should be available before a user can reset their password. Now this leads up to our next question that what all required for user registration. So user can navigate to any of these two links, which is aka.ms security setup info and aka.ms SSPR setup. This link has been introduced recently wherein the MFA registration process and SSPR registration process is being converged. But to register or to reset the password, the user has to provide any one of the methods or you can have multi-method verification process as well now what do i mean by this that let's say if i am a user and i'm trying to reset the password as per my admin i have to verify the otp that's been sent to my mobile as well as the otp that's been sent to my email address these are the three options which a user can use while he or she wants to reset the password once the registration process is completed, then the user has to 
navigate to the link which is aka.ms forward slash SSPR to reset the password. Now let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about self-service password reset, what exactly the process is all about. We have also discussed about the license requirement. In my next video, I am going to show you all the portal configuration that is required for password reset and couple of use cases wherein how you should troubleshoot, what logs you should check to fix if password write back is not getting enabled for your tenant. If you have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.